Hey, it's Nigel from Importing Riches with another video today. And today's subject is what are some disadvantages of importing goods? And obviously, there's uh, pros and cons to everything you do. Uh, this first uh, obstacle, I would say challenge, is you need funds to import. Uh, with any business, uh, you know, the uh, you've probably heard the analogy takes money to make money, and that's absolutely true. Uh, with importing, you need funds to get started to buy goods to start buying them from your supplier overseas, so then you can then uh, sell them in your local country or another country where you can sell the goods more expensive and keep the profit uh, in between. So you definitely need funds. You don't need a lot of funds. Uh, and, uh, you know, when I first started, I started with you know, less than $300 importing uh, his and her watch sets. So I, I gained experience from uh, doing small stuff. And then obviously, as I got uh, more and more experience and found out what worked, I then scaled that up. But, yeah, I, I had probably less than $300 to my name at the time. That was over 10 years ago. So it is possible if you're, uh, if you have the funds and you're willing to uh, uh, get into it. Um, I explained actually how to start a importing um, products on a shoestring budget and profit overnight. If you go to Amazon and uh, type in how to start importing products from China on a shoestring budget, uh, you'll come up. This is my book here. And I go over a strategy that will, uh, for less than $200 to your name, you can uh, start profiting very quickly, buying low cost items and uh, turning them over for you know, high profit up to a thousand percent. Now, the other uh, challenge would be to, when you buy your goods, you have to turn and earn them very quickly. So you've got, if you're flying goods in, then it's not as uh, not as a big of a drama, but then you've got the air freight uh, cost associated with the importing them in or flying them in. You could FedEx them or UPS them. Uh, it just depends on where you are. But you need to turn those goods fast over fast because the money that you invested in, in the goods and then you've got the shipping uh, and some duties that are, are attached to that, if the value of the goods is high, that money is basically dead money. You need to turn and earn. You need to burn, um, turn those goods over very fast and then order more from your supplier. Start off small. Uh, I, I would suggest start off uh, importing it using FedEx and air freight. It costs you know, a little bit more, but you can turn it over, um, the goods over, and if you find a uh, product that has a high profit margin of over 500%, you can eat, and the item is just quite small. You can pack a lot of those into a 20 kilo FedEx uh, or a TNT um, satchel or box, and they may charge you, uh, you know, up to $200 for that. But if you can pack in um, a lot of uh, items that sell high, that's how you turn and earn them. Uh, and this is all outlined as well in the in my ebook, Kindle ebook. That's on Amazon, which I just explained. Now, a critical uh, sort of strategy, a point you need to uh, know is to manage your cash flow because um, if, you, if you've got overheads, and I'm assuming that when you first start, you're not going to have fairly big overheads. I mean, I started out in my basement. I did it from my bedroom. I stored all my stuff in the garage. So I would suggest that you do this, you know, you start part-time and then build up inventory that way. Just store it in your uh, garage or if it's if the items that you're importing are fairly big. I mean, we imported um, steam mops and we stuck them in the garage, but then when that got too much, we used uh, storage units. And the storage units would uh, be anywhere from 250 to $550 a month, but you know, we could fit, you know, a 40-foot container full of stuff in there. So it was all relative. 
but you need to manage your cash flow because if you've got overheads, then you're uh, you can run into trouble, and that'll eat into your profit because if you if you sell your goods and you're waiting for the goods to come in, it might take three or six weeks for you to get more goods in if you if you're uh, shipping them in. Those six weeks is dead money. You cut you know you've got no cash flow coming in. You have to turn and earn. You have to always keep in control of your cash flow because in those six weeks of the period that you're still waiting for your goods to arrive, you're still going to pay your bills. And if you've got storage sheds or you've got outgoings, those bills will come every you know week, and there's no there's money going out. There's no money coming in. It's so very important that you turn and earn and you sell the goods as fast as you can. Get more in. That's why I, I suggest you start small with small items and you FedEx them, them in. Your supplier can generally, um, if you're dealing with someone with, you know, over in Hong Kong or China, they can generally get all the, your, your inventory together or your list of all the um, items that you want within three days. Um, sorry, within a day and then they'll actually fly that to you within three days. If I order stuff from Hong Kong, I can generally get it within three days to Australia. That's what you want to focus on. So, some of the disadvantages of importing the goods over again is you need funds to start to import. You don't need a lot, but like I said, I started with less than three hundred bucks, and within three years, I made over a million dollars. You need to turn and earn. You need to turn and earn the um, goods very fast. So then, uh, your lag period—I I call it my lag period—is the time that you know you're waiting for goods. Uh, if you've got overheads, they're going to eat into your profit. You need to manage your cash flow. You don't need to be an accountant or a brilliant. You just you, all you need to know is just to write on a bit of paper or on a spreadsheet all your outgoings, what all your costs for the for the month, and um, then make sure that you've got enough cash to pay for the outgoings. And then you figure out what your items are worth, what you're selling them for, and the profit uh, times the uh, you know your units that you're importing. Okay, it's just a, a very easy balance sheet. Nothing. Um, that uh, is too hard, but as long as you know what to your cash flow is, you've got more cash coming in from selling the goods and, and then, then is actually going out, then you'll be fine. So um, there's just some little tips. Uh, if you want some more information, I'll probably put the best uh, importing course out on the net today, um, and it, that's at uh, importingriches.com.